Welcome to It's Just Wrestling. I'm your host, Tubby Emu. Uh, we got a special guest on. We're going to talk about Dick Ryback today. It's Just Wrestling.com coming soon. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash It's Just Wrestling. No G on that. There, uh, Fortunately, there wasn't enough room. And I'm going to go ahead and play a clip. If you guys don't know who Dick Ryback is, here's the greatness that is Dick Ryback. The big guy. <laughs> Ryback, many people in the WW universe have been saying that your actions as of late, the things that you've been doing to individuals that, well, you've been bullying everyone. Hey, get out of here. Where are you going? Sit down. This is my locker room. You think you can have any locker? Stand up. Pick up your bag. Go get it. All right, so our special guest today uh, on YouTube, on Twitter, uh, it's my yard. On YouTube, he's Backyard Gaming. Yard, uh, I want to talk to you about this because we were at SummerSlam, and we mm-hmm. saw Dick Ryback in a promo. And uh, what 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 is your uh, initial reactions as, uh, to Dick Ryback on TV? Uh, well, I would like to say we finally got to see Yoshitatsu after like five years, so that was a great start. Uh, to that promo. It, oh, because uh, he was at the table, yeah. There was also Joey Ryan in a couple of his promos, right? What, was he one? Well, yeah, no, was Joey, Joey Ryan, Ryan was in two of them. And, you know, that's, you know, as a wrestling fan, when you just sit down and watch it and you saw it, I know CM Pulse was tweeting about it. It was like, oh my God, that really is Joey Ryan. We were talking about that at SummerSlam. Don't you remember that? Yeah, I knew you were talking about the Yoshi Tatsu, because I, but no, Joey Ryan didn't. Yeah, know no, Joey Ryan know. was in the background awesome. of two of the clips. But with Dick Ryback, he's bullying people around. He poured a. Uh, uh, the soup. What's the soup that's supposed to be cold? I can't remember. What oh, it it's gazpacho. Gazpacho. Soup. It's supposed yes. to be cold. He dumps it all over him. Uh, initial reactions. You have a guy that came into WWE. His character in NXT, Skip Sheffield. He was in the NXT. He was in NXT, um, Nexus. Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Skip Sheffield. So he about was... all of all of about three weeks until he got injured. Yeah, that's true. His uh, comedian gimmick was Skip Sheffield, and it was kind of a cowboy out there. I actually kind of liked the gimmick. Uh, they eventually. I uh, hated it. Really? Terrible. You you yeah. didn't you did not like it at all. It was just he might have been. It should have gone, went to Darwin Young. Okay, should have went to Darwin Young. You think that gimmick should have went to Darwin Young? It would have been the best gimmick for him. Oh man, I, I don't know that. But when they brought in Ryback and when they you know they revamped him, they brought him in as this absolute beast. You know, the the chance with Goldberg, you know, it kind of did the same thing because you had a streak. But now the fact that the streak's over, he's lost to Cena. And he's finally starting to get this new character. And we had thought for a while, and I don't know if you were one of them, we had saw Vicky Guerrero when she lost her position with Raw and her kind of consolidating Ryback when Ryback hugged her. We were like, okay, he's going to get a, a manager. And yeah. well, well, managers are good. Managers are always a good thing. I don't know why the WWE hasn't done many because Paul Heyman is the proof that a manager – seriously works for business. You know, a manager's work. He's really the only manager. But if you look at it, look at Ryback, I don't think he needs a manager if they let his character be more than just feed me more, triple, double, whatever, you know, shell shocks. He goes out there, and this comedy character, when he's wearing this vest, and I I can't believe I didn't bring this vest up earlier, the Ryback Rules vest, you guys can check it out, uh, is just (laughs) is awesome, first of all. I know Pulse and Smalls love it. It just it kind of gives a new definition to his character. It really does. And when he screws with people, um, it, it's funny. But at the same time, does this go against WWE? Can WWE separate themselves from on screen like the the be a star and then have him bullying people? Like does that well, send was, the wrong? Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of completely goes to the opposite of the be a star campaign. Yeah, he's a complete douchebag, but he's a star. Yeah, follow the world. <laughs> well, people. I mean, to be fair, you know, Triple H and. And Stefan, you're doing the same thing. But, you know, that's not the point. This is just, I like wrestling. No. It's just wrestling. What, whatever we're going with here is literally just what we see on screen. And I have to be honest with you, I'm loving the character. What, what do you think that he can do to take it to the next level? Because you can't just keep screwing with people backstage and not doing anything. So what's next for Dick yeah. Ryback? But this is the thing. Who do you put him up against? Because with so many face guys in other feuds and everything like that, he's got no one to work with. He's sort of stuck in the cutscenes until there's a title change with the US or IC belt, and then they might be able to do something. That That is a good point. I don't exactly know where Ryback's going to go, but, I mean, I'm perfectly Maybe fine. Maybe face Yoshi Tatsu. <laughs> you know? Everybody in the back that he's screwed with, it's going to be like a 10-on-1 a handicap match 
with uh, yeah, Dick. he just somehow gets all ten on his shoulders for like the biggest <laughs> self. It's like a human centipede shell shock, you know. I honestly all linked together somehow. I I think that would be hilarious to see that happen. Now I I'm okay with seeing more cutscenes. You know, I've been watching these. Some of the uh, the Dick Rybacks are so funnier. W K team with cutscenes. <laughs> well, I see. I I like these cutscenes. I think some of them are you know a little excessive. Like the ones with the soup I thought was hilarious. The one where he told him to get out of his locker room was hilarious. Uh, the one where he put him through the table. I mean, some of them go, you know, a little bit off of what I want to see. But yeah. I just, I love the evolution of Ryback because it, it allows him to have another definition where it's not just this absolute beast that goes out and dominates. Like It's all, it's all like with Fandango where we were at SummerSlam. We always saw the, um, the Titan Tron with just him mucking about with Miz. Yeah. You know, it sort of worked for... Fandango as well. So yeah, if it keeps right back on TV, he doesn't have to wrestle a match for the next month or two as long as he keeps going like that. And maybe then interfere in a title match in Night of Champions. Yeah, well, and the same thing with Ryback. Like you said, he doesn't necessarily need to be wrestling. And right now there's really nobody to wrestle with. So I'm perfectly fine with these going on. But I, I would really like to see him be a dick to somebody and then that person fights back. I think that's the only thing they can really do with this. Is somebody is going to finally stand up to him, and the question is who's going to who's going to stand up to Ryback? And There's no one. <laughs> I, th I think I a guy from NXT. Are you looking at the NXT roster though? I'm I'm talking about like no. potentially bringing up a guy you know who's just oh, backstage mean, like Joey yeah. Ryan, and then that could potentially like think of the guys down there. You got Pac, you got Neville, Cassius Ono, Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono. Yeah, I don't think they're ever going to bring him up. It's been like what three years now? I mean, mental yeah. time, and they don't. He needs to be. Uh, we can talk about that another day. But Cassie only needs to go with Cesaro. There's no question. Yeah. Well, don't don't. Well, let's not bring up Kings of Wrestling. But let's yeah. let, let's wait on that one. But I'm looking over the roster here and trying to figure out who could potentially go up against Ryback right now. If they did call somebody up, um, <laughs> I would still like to see a, a face Big E that's laughing, and I could see him going up against Big E. Um, Big E does good promos as well. This is the thing. See, I want Big E to have Ryback's character where it's funny but it's not like a dickish because if you've seen some videos where with him and aj he's actually a really funny guy and i think that's what wwe needs to do with these big guys is you watch him on tv when they're just going out there dominating two to three minute matches like like goldberg said and he recently had a kind of an interview saying you know why do i need to work two more than two minutes you know that's that's not the point of my you know persona it, it, it wouldn't make sense i'm not a good wrestler i i don't wrestle and, you know, I saw that interview and I was like, you know, it's a good point. So he needs to do something else. And I think the WWE is doing it right with Ryback, you know. I, I'm trying to look at this roster yeah. to see who he could stand up against and really, um, uh, oh, yeah. no, there's nobody. The, the, the thing is, it would be Cena, but obviously with him being injured, there's. No, I, I don't want to see Cena versus Ryback anymore. I, I don't want to see that anymore. He doesn't need a big guy to go up against. And any guy that's smaller could go up against Ryback. And well, make it Ray Mysterio then. Ray Ray hasn't returned yet. So. See, would that make sense? Like, I, like I said, I just want to focus on you know, you know, the wrestling. I mean, think Ray, about doesn't, it. Ray doesn't give a fuck to be honest. I mean, we saw him at the symposium. He just sat, sat there for an hour while Flair did stories and Daniel Bryan did them along there. It doesn't matter. The, the, the thing we got to remember is Dick Ryback. That vest is going to go crazy. Have you bought it from WWEshop.com yet? Do you know how much the shipping charges and custom charges are? Don't they have a, a UK WWE shop? Oh, they did, they did it away years ago. Really? I have to get from America, yeah. So the import taxes are humongous. That's I've got to pay like 25%, 30% more than what it says on the um, price just to get it over. That's crazy. I want the vest because I think the vest in the biggest size would, would fit me. The shirts sure as hell aren't, but I think the vest... I may be able to at least yeah have it on me part of the way, but Dick Ryback, uh, there's going to be way more going to be talking about Ryback, but I do want to thank Yar for coming by. Uh, any, any final thoughts you have on Ryback right now? Anything? Yeah, you I want more Yoshi Tatsu. You're only using Ryback for Yoshi. Yeah. Go watch the JB Allen Cole show. He was on the Superstar Search. Yeah, but he was only singing guitar. Come on. <laughs> I, granted, he, he did a great track on the Beatles. Oh, uh, he was horrible. It was just horrible. All right, Dick Ryback. You can follow Yard, uh, twitter.com forward slash it's my yard, youtube.com forward slash. What are you doing? Are you singing the song? 
Get right out! Of, get out of here! All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's just wrestling. Uh, dot com, Twitter.com forward slash it's just wrestling. Uh, That's what I'm talking racist. about.